Hey there, welcome. And today I would like to show you how to solve the Wi-Fi grayed out problems on iPhone 8 Plus. So if you're using a iPhone 8 Plus, I know it's a pretty old device, but for some reason, if you see the Wi-Fi being grayed out and you can't even connect your Wi-Fi network, then here is how you can solve the problem. Remember, this problem can be the hardware, so be sure to check that out. So before you do anything else, all I want you guys to do is simply tap, uh, just simply head over to your app store and now tap search and simply type check my device so let me type check my device there all right so after just simply typing check my device you'll most likely find this application open it up here even though i'm not promoting this app but this is a pretty useful app for you guys to find out the hardware problem so if you come over here all i want you guys to do is simply come to your wi-fi option and simply tap wi-fi test and here simply tap test and if that says wi-fi is working properly don't worry but if that says Wi-Fi is not working or not available, then you gotta be 100% sure the problem is happening for the hardware. In any case, if it says Wi-Fi is working properly from here, but it's still the grayed out from the, uh, let's say home screen or, or from the uh, control center, the next thing that you have to do is just head over to settings on iPhone. And this time you have to scroll down to screen time. And now you have to scroll down to content and privacy restrictions. And here you have to disable this process. Now, if you enable it sometime, it can interfere with your problems. It can fix the problems. So you can simply disable it, get back here, and try to check your problems. If you still have problems, though, uh, you can just do this. You can get back here. Uh, you can scroll down to general and tap software update and try to check out the new software update for your device. I know it's a pretty old device. Um, probably the 16 is the last version, but it's still, if you have been updated to the latest software version on your iPhone, it can give you the problem. So update your software and check your problem. Let's say I've done that, but still you have the problem. Lastly, you can get and get over here and just tap transfer and reset iPhone, tap reset and tap reset all setting and see if that even works for you or not. So let's say I've done all of the process, but it's still it's not working for you at all then you have to be 100% to the, sure the problem is happening for the hardware in that case you need to take your device to Apple Care. hopefully you will be able to solve the problem from there and still if you have anything to ask please do let me know in the comment section see you all around